Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Screeny. Cartoons are designed to entertain, with most of them packing in tons of laughs, stupid characters, and outlandish plots. They're not usually emotional or too dramatic, but instead aimed at showing us a good time. However, most writers know that the key to success involves pulling at our heartstrings at least a couple of times during a show's run. They may be used to comedy, but man, when they do emotional, they do it right. Join us as we take a look at the seven saddest endings to popular cartoons. Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video on your favorite TV shows. Number 7. Rick's Breakup, Rick and Morty Rick and Morty is one of the most popular Adult Swim cartoons of recent years, created by Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland. The show has garnered critical praise and has the ability to blow our minds with crackpot storylines. It's just a great show, with lots of inappropriate jokes and characters like Mr. Poopy Butthole. You can't really get better than that. Most of the time, it's fairly lighthearted and too nuts to take seriously, but every now and then, the writers like to remind us that Rick really does have a heart. In autoerotic assimilation, Rick gets back together with Unity, his ex-girlfriend that is really some sort of hive mind. It's a little confusing, but what isn't in Rick and Morty? Anything can happen. You have to have a really high IQ to understand the show's concepts. After all the usual laugh-a-minute hijinks are done, Rick realizes that he can never be the man that Unity wants him to be. He's alone once more and goes home to feel sorry for himself. The poor guy sits at his desk as Do You Feel It by Chaos Chaos plays, thinking about different ways he could end his life. This was hard-hitting for a show that usually borders on the insane. Number 6. Lisa's Teacher, The Simpsons Lisa has her work cut out for her, being the only brain in an otherwise completely nuts family. Sure, Marge is alright, but look at the stuff she puts up with from Homer. No woman in her right mind would stay with a man like that. Lisa, intellectual, intelligent, super caring, and generally amazing, is part of the puzzle that just won't fit. In one of the early seasons of the show, she bonds with her substitute teacher, Mr. Bergstrom, voiced by the great Dustin Hoffman. Bergstrom is smart and nurtures Lisa's young mind in the way that Miss Honey helped Matilda. They bond over their love of learning and the poor youngster is utterly devastated when her newfound father figure has to get back on the bus and go to his next school. She feels lost once again, stuck with a duff drinking beer louts like Homer who means well but just can't give her the sort of guidance that she needs. He's too busy getting himself into trouble to watch out for his daughter. The end of the episode is sad especially when Lisa opens up Bergstrom's parting note that reads, You are Lisa Simpson. Gulp, man! We're not crying, you're crying! There have been quite a few episodes dedicated to exploring Lisa's uniqueness, but this one got us right in the feels, man. Number 5. The Final Song, Adventure Time for cartoon fans, it doesn't get much better than Adventure Time. Kids and adults alike love this crazy world that changes with every episode. There's always something different going on. This sad moment comes courtesy of the Ice King, one of the funniest villains the show has to offer, voiced by Tom Kenny, who also voices SpongeBob. Like every egomaniacal madman, the Ice King was once a normal human being. Well, a normal character like the rest of them in Adventure Time at least. But he was driven mad by the magic crown. It was all downhill from there. While fans became privy to his backstory in the Christmas special Holly Jolly Secrets, we're here to talk about I Remember You, aka one of the most heartbreaking cartoon episodes of all time. The episode focuses on his relationship with young Marceline and how he was her only protector at the time he was going loopy. In the final song of the episode, the Ice King dances along to a ditty that he can't remember the words to anymore. Please forgive me for whatever I do when I don't remember you. Wow, I love that! It sounds stupid, but it's actually pretty poignant when you think of the person he was and how his mind has left him never to return. Man, what's with all these emotions, dude? Number 4. Stan's Landslide, South Park 
Poor Stan has had it rough over the course of South Park. He's not as dumb as Cartman and he doesn't die as much as Kenny, but he actually has a fate worse than that. Stan is arguably one of the most normal characters of all. So normal that his parents Randy and Sharon split up, leaving him depressed and reflecting on his life. In the episode You're Getting Old, Stan is at a crossroads in his adolescence, torn apart by his parents' marriage breakdown. Now they aren't together, he's being forced to move away to live with his mom in a different town. The youngster sits at Stark's Pond as he thinks about what it's like leaving his dad and all of his friends to start a new life elsewhere. In the background plays Landslide by Stevie Nicks, frankly one of the sweetest, saddest songs to ever be unleashed on this earth. And I saw my reflection in snow covered his to the land. For a cartoon that focuses on filthy gags, adult jokes, dancing Christmas poos, and sexual harassment pandas, it's kind of came out of left field. Every now and then, the writers give us a little nugget of emotional gold to balance out all of the crassness. It works out remarkably well, so it's no surprise that South Park remains one of the best cartoons of all time. Number 3. Ariel's New Life, The Little Mermaid the Little Mermaid, you gasp? That has a notoriously happy ending, doesn't it? With Ariel marrying the prince and sailing away into the sunset? We all think it's happy, but we're about to ruin that childhood memory for you because it's actually pretty terrible. For those of you who haven't dipped your toe in the water, the movie focuses on Ariel's obsession with humans. She falls in love with a prince and wants to be able to walk on the shore so badly, she makes a bargain with the sea witch Ursula. Eventually, after some hairy moments, Ariel gets her wish and bags her dream man. Only, she has to leave behind everything she has ever known to do so. This is where we're supposed to be happy for her, but in reality, it's a huge bummer. She can't see her dad anymore under the water, visit her people, or even her childhood home. Not to mention she's been through unspeakable torment at the hands of Ursula, who very nearly shish kebabbed her and her entire family. It doesn't sound so great in the harsh light of day, does it? The way King Triton had to bid farewell to his favorite daughter is one of the most cry-worthy moments in Disney history, even if we didn't realize it at the time. Number 2. Bye Bye Bing Bong Inside Out Inside Out introduced a totally new concept to Disney fans, focusing on the inner workings of Riley, a tween struggling with moving to a new area and putting down roots. In the movie, the emotions inside Riley's head find themselves in hot water when they get totally out of whack. Joy is suddenly adrift and it looks like she's going to be lost forever dooming Riley to a life of unhappiness. Cue Bing Bong, a lone emotion that no longer gets regularly used. When push comes to shove, the kind-hearted pink elephant finds himself in a sticky situation. He can save himself and abandon Joy, or sacrifice himself and save Joy. He does the latter, thus breaking our fragile young hearts for the rest of eternity. While Bing Bong fading into oblivion is bad enough, it's his parting words that really sting. Take her to the moon for me, okay? Honestly, it's one of the saddest moments in movie history, not just cartoon history, as it isn't something audiences can just forget in a hurry. Kids were probably too busy thinking about the bright colors and what comes next, but for adults, it's left a mark that can never be erased. We love you, Bing Bong! Number one. Goodbye Homer, The Simpsons. Fans of The Simpsons may recall this episode. It's right up there with the best of them. Matt Groening and co. know how to strike the right balance between emotion and farce, which is the reason why this show is loved so much. In the episode Mother Simpson, Homer is reunited with his mom, who he believed died when he was young. Mona turns out to be an incredible character with a shady past. Voiced by Glenn Close, Homer's mom reveals that she used to be a protester that opposed a germ warfare lab owned by Mr. Burns. She's been on the run from the cops ever since, but has sent her son a care package every week since leaving him behind. Homer sadly never received them, but he's touched that his mom cares and is safe in the knowledge that she loves him. That's all anyone really wants, isn't it? 
In the end, Mr. Burns recognizes Mona and calls the cops, but Homer is tipped off and has a chance to get his mom to safety. They say a tearful goodbye, and the lovable dope sits on the hood of his car, looking out into the night sky. It's truly a touching moment between mother and son that wouldn't have been out of place in a daytime soap opera. Many a fan has shed a tear over this one. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on your favorite TV shows and tap one of the two videos on screen for another amazing video.